Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a paracord pumpkin using the monkey fist knot. It's a little bit different than a normal monkey fist. Um, if you haven't made a monkey fist before, this will be a good place to start. Um, we're going to be using a jig today. If you don't have a jig or don't want to buy a jig, we also have a tutorial how to do it on your hand. Um, but for today this is going to be easier, so we'll do it this way. So for this tutorial you'll need at least five feet of paracord for the finished monkey fist, but you're going to need more cord to actually make the knot. So make sure you have about 10 feet of cord to work with. For a monkey fist, you need something to put inside. So you can either use a, a wooden bead or a steel ball bearing or a marble or anything. Um, I'm gonna be using the wooden bead today. So I'm gonna set the, the ball bearing aside. Um, this one is an inch. And so on the jig, if you happen to purchase one of those, um, the, the plate of this one is really handy. It, it gives you the details of how to make a monkey fist for any size of center, any size of core. And so you'll see on here for the one inch, we're going to be making five passes around. And for cord, we're going to need, but like I said, four foot, four inches. So five feet should do us. Let's dive right in. All right, so here I've got my paracord. I've put a fit on one end. You don't need to use a fit. I'm just going to use it for clarity and to make it a little bit easier. Um, we'll start by grabbing the other end, we'll call that our standing end, and wrapping it around our jig. Um, I'm using the middle holes on this particular jig to, to allow this to fit in the center. So with our standing end on, on this side, down at the bottom corner, we're going to go around five times because that is what our jig tells us will be the right width to cover our bead. But then because I'm making a pumpkin and not a normal monkey fist, I'm going to go around once more to kind of give it a squashed look. And we're not going to be pulling the knots quite as tight. Um, so now that that's in there, go ahead and set that inside. You can, if it falls out, you can wait until later as well. So now we got that done, we're going to be, instead of going around again, we're going to be going through the middle across those bottom two and around this way. And you can pull your extra cord through. So there's one pass. On the, the lateral passes going around, we're just going to do three passes. Because again, we're wanting to give this monkey fist an oval look. Oops. And make sure your cords don't cross, you want to lay alongside each other. And once more around for our three. And pass our extra cord through there. So we've got our three and are back to the same corner that we started at again. And for the last one, it's a little bit harder. We're going to be going over the top of our bead, but under the, the top paracord through this way. So instead of around the outside now, we're, we're weaving it through the middle. And you can tip it if you want to, to be able to get at that easier. But then we're going to be going, so this is the bottom, but I'm turning it so we can see it on camera. We're going to be going underneath your three lateral and through. So it's over the top of your bottom ones. So I'm going to turn that back so we're right side up. And we're going to go six across like we did on the first one. So I'll, I'll catch you at the end. So at this point, we are done. We've gone our six passes around that last end. And we are actually ending up in this corner this time. Here's where we started. Here's where we're going to end. And you can carefully pull it off of the jig. And set the jig aside. And you can see we've got some tightening to do. So what I like to do is start in my, my end here and start tightening it through the other way. That way I don't waste as much cord. So I tighten that down 
and just keep on feeding it through. In this part, it's really easy to get your cords overlapped, so you just kind of want to take it as slow as you need to. And it's going to take a couple times of tightening through the whole thing. So patience is, is key here. I get my wires all crisscrossed. I can sort some of that out later, but the slower you do it now, the easier it'll be in the end. So once you get that first direction done, it'll go on to the next direction. And just keep on playing with that until you get the, the whole thing tightened down. All right, so now we've tightened it down a lot of the way. Um, as you do this, make sure you don't pull the, the three strand row quite as tight as the other ones, um, and that'll allow it to kind of squash like we want it. So I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna do one more pass through of, of tightening it down. All right, so here I've tightened it down a little bit more. If this was a normal monkey fist, I would probably tighten it at least one more time, um, but I'm gonna leave it a little bit squished this way so it looks more like a pumpkin. Um, but what you can do now is cut off your ends and just kind of flatten them against the the knot. And then I've gone ahead and added a, a stem onto one, just to make it look a little bit more pumpkin-y. You can do it with any little scrap of green that you might have laying around. Um, I just looped it around one of the top loops and did an overhand knot with both strands. Um, and you can take this concept a lot of different directions. I made another one here with a jack-o'-lantern face by just weaving a little bit of black with the, the core taken out. And I've also made an eyeball. You can make a keychain out of that or, or anything, but all sorts of Halloween decorations. If you like this video, hit the like button. Um, if you really liked it, hit the subscribe. Um, but we'll hope to see you back next time. Thanks for watching.